Hey folks, I'm Daryl Tucker and you are painting with Tuck. All right, today we're gonna do something extra special, all right? Today we're gonna uh, do a Black History Month painting. A friend gave me a great idea and I said, they said, why don't you do a Black History Month uh, for the kids? I said, sounds like a wonderful idea. So we're gonna do a Black History Month for you all, all right? Painting, this is what we're doing. We got the dad and we got the little girl, all right, out in the crowd. You can tell it's a crowd in the background. They're holding their sign saying, I am black and I am, you put what you want to put. On mine, I'm going to put, I am black and I am proud, all right? You can put, I am black and I am strong. I am black and I am powerful. I am black. I am magical. You can put whatever you want to put, all right? But I'm going to put, I am black and I am proud on the one that I'm going to create. Let me tell you what you need, okay? You're going to need a pencil. You're going to need a pencil. I'm going to use a paintbrush and I'm going to use brown paint and I'm just going to sketch in the, uh, the little people and the sign, all right? That's what I'm going to do with my uh, brown paint while you're using the pencil, the reason I'm using brown paint is because you won't be able to see a pencil if I draw it on this canvas here just because of the lighting. Uh, with the, if I was to draw it with paint, you can see it because it's pretty dark. All right, so you're going to need a pencil. You're going to need a paper plate. And on that paper plate, these are the three colors that I'm using. Uh, well, four colors. I have white, red, uh, black, and brown. Okay. Um, the red, as you can see, is just going to be for the shirts. You can make the shirts whatever color you want to make. You can make. You can make the whole picture different colors and the background different colors if you want to. I just wanted to, to go um, this route so that you can bring out the people uh, that, you're, that you're drawing. Since they're in color, um, they don't mix in with the background, you know, too heavy. So the background's like a light black and whitish. And then uh, you got them popping out to you in color, okay? So that's why I did that. Uh, you're gonna need a uh, paintbrush. So paintbrushes you'll need is a flat brush and a pointy brush, all right? Flat brush and a pointy brush. You'll need paper towels so you can dry your uh, paintbrushes off when you wash them. You're gonna need a cup of water, about that much water. Okay, um, what else you need? I, I believe that's it. I believe that's it. So we are about to start drawing our picture and we're going to put in there at the end, we're going to put I am black and I am whatever you want to put. Okay, I'm going to put proud. All right, so let's get started. Grab your pencil. On the canvas, I turned my canvas sideways. Cause this canvas is sideways you can do it up and down if you like but i'm going sideways and get my brown paint going okay start out by drawing an egg shape in the middle of the canvas kind of okay um this is going to be the head of the dad so about right here somewhere we'll do a little egg shape egg shape okay and then to the right of it we're gonna do another egg shape but we're gonna kind of slant it a little bit cuz you see how the girl's head is kind of tilted just a little bit you can do it like that or you can have it straight up and down however you want to do it but I'm gonna kind of slant my egg shape where the point is pointing in a little bit. Uh oh, made that kind of long. There we go. There we go. All right. And then I am going to put two balls on the side of uh, the egg on the right. Two small balls. That's going to be the little puffs. You can have little puffs or big puffs, whatever you want to do. 
Little puffs or big puffs, whatever you want to do, okay? Then, I'm going to go ahead and make the sign. And then everything else will kind of fall in place. So the sign, start at the bottom. Well, let's start up here. Let's start up here. So, I'm going to start about right here. And I'm going to go all the way across. All the way across. So about right there to about the little girl's uh, afro puff right here. <laughs> and then we're going to go down. And then go down on the other side. Okay. Now, we're going to put the little hands on the sign. Okay. All, the, all it takes to do the little hands is just little circles. Just small circles. Okay. So I'm going to put... For, for this one, for the man here, I'm going to put a circle here. All right. And then I'm going to put a circle here. That's him holding the sign. Okay. And then for the little girl, I'm going to put a little, a smaller circle, a little, a little smaller than the man's hand. Put it here. And I'm going to put it here. All right. Now let's give them some shoulders. Give them some shoulders. So just round it. Round it and go down. Same thing here. I'm going to go down right about where the hand is. Okay. And on this side, same thing. Round it and go down. Over here too. Round it and go down. All right. So now you got two people. Now you got two people. And we can start painting. Y'all ready to paint? All right. So we are going to start painting with the flat brush, okay? The flat brush, and we're going to do the background first. The background first. All right. The way I did the background is I made a very light gray. I started out with a very light gray, so I mixed my black and my white together. I got a lot of white on this plate. <laughs> You don't want to mix, you don't want to mess up all your paint, so just stay in one little area with it when you mix it up so you don't get it all, okay? All right, and the way I put it on the canvas is I blotched it, okay? I didn't just uh, paint strokes, I blotched it. And when I say blotch, this is what I did. I patted it, I patted the side, Smashed it against. Smash it against the canvas. Smash it against the canvas. And what that is doing is it's giving you the effect of having more people in the background, okay? So I did that. I just wanted to show you how to blotch it. But first, first let's go around the people, okay? So we don't have to worry about hitting the people. So let's go around the people with the gray. Go around the people with the gray. All right. Let's go around them. Go around them. Keep going. Keep going. Go around them. Okay. And as you're going around, Still do that blotch. Do that blotching. 
Just don't go inside your lines. Stay outside your line. Do that blotching. Go around your people. Blotch, blotch, blotch. Blotch, blotch, blotch. Go around. Blotch, blotch, blotch. I use both sides of my uh, flat brush too. I blotch, blotch, blotch. I flip it over. I blotch, blotch. So I just continue doing it like that. Okay? I know that looked funny, didn't it? <laughs> like, what is he doing? So go around, blotch, blotch. Blotch, blotch, blotch. Keep going. Go around, go around, go around, blotch, 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 blotch. All right, almost there, y'all. Y'all doing a good job? Good, good, keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, I'm gonna go ahead. I got I went around all of them now. I am just gonna finish blotching up the background. And if I am blotching faster than you, don't get upset with yourself. I've been blotching for a while. <laughs> and all you have to do is press pause, okay? Just press pause and when you catch up, press play and we'll be at the same spot. Keep blotching. Just gotta do this side over here. Almost there, almost there. Almost there. I got a big old canvas, y'all. Well, it's not big. It's, but it's bigger than an 8x10. I think this is like a... This is an 8x10, and this is like a... 16 by 20 so when I say 8 by 10 when I say 8 by 10 is uh, 8 inches long and 10 inches wide or vice versa so this is 16 inches long and uh, 20 inches wide or uh, vice versa <laughs> have you turn it all right so I have I have all my blotches in okay of the same color and a little bit of a different shade I'm a I'm gonna get a little bit darker gray going all right a little bit darker gray uh, to give it a little bit more effect okay and put that in the background and blotch it so you don't blotch it everywhere just in different spots so look going around just blotch it in different spots and it makes it look like people y'all in the background so you don't have to hit every spot you don't have to hit every spot but just hit around blotch it hit around a little bit hit around it makes it look like it's people in the background so I darkened it up just a little bit Darker, darker blotches, just a little bit in the background. So you know that you're not alone. All right. There's a 
there's no messing up. There's no messing up, y'all. Don't be scared to blotch. Because there's no messing up. Just make sure you have like areas where you can see dark and you can see light blotches. And it look like it's people in the background. All right? Good job. If you're not finished blotching, if you're not finished blotching, press pause on me because I'm about to go ahead and show you something different. So press pause. And then when you catch up, press play, all right? Because the next thing I did, clean out my brush. Clean out my brush. And I'm going to use white. And I'm going to paint the sign. Okay? Paint the sign white. So the sign's going to be white. So go around the hands. Go around the hands. Around the hands. Paint that sign white, y'all. I know some people say, well, why can't I just leave it the color of the canvas? I mean, you could. But when you paint over the canvas, um, if you don't paint over the canvas and you have your canvas for a while, the regular canvas, um, the regular white canvas would get dirty, okay? But if you uh, paint over the canvas, uh, it won't get as dirty, or if it does get dirty, you can just wipe it off because it has that coating of paint on it. So I like to paint my white back on. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I got some of that gray in there. See if I can paint over that. That came out a little bit. All right. All right. I got my sign painted white, y'all. I got my sign painted white. What is the next thing that I'm going to do? Clean my brush out. Press pause if I'm going too fast. I'm gonna clean my brush out. And I'm gonna paint the shirts, y'all. I'm gonna paint the shirts red, okay? I'm still using my flat brush. Paint the shirts red. Starting with the dad. Shirts red. All right, can y'all see? I don't know if I'm in the way or not, but I think y'all can see. We just paint the shirts, y'all. That's all we're doing. And if you don't want your shirts red, that's fine. You can paint it a different color. You can paint it a different color. Because that's all your business. You don't have to have a red shirt. You don't have to have a red shirt like I got a red shirt. I bet you're not wearing a yellow shirt today like I'm wearing a yellow shirt. <laughs> so you can have whatever color shirt you want to put on these people. Because that's your business. All right, all right. Paint the little girl's shirt.
All right, so now we got both the shirts painted. Now, cleaning the brush out again. Still using the flat brush. Pressing on the bottom of the cup, twirling the brush around. Getting my napkin, paper towel, squeeze, pull, got a clean brush again. <laughs> All right, so now I am going to make the skin tone. So I'm just going to use the regular brown that I have for one, for the dad, I say. Regular brown that I have for him and do his whole face. face brown all right all right okay I think I got it okay now I'm gonna do his hand that's holding the sign. All right. See, I did his hand. And I'm going to do just put a little, just a little extra here to make it look like a thumb. You see? Just a little extra to make it look like a thumb. And I'm going to do it here too. Paint. Paint it in, and then I'm gonna give him a little extra to make it look like a thumb. All right. All right. Now let's do the little girl. I'm gonna make her a shade darker, okay? She could be lighter or darker. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of black in my brown. Just a little bit of black in my brown. Everybody's not the same color all the time, you know. I'm gonna do her face. Alright. Okay, now I'm gonna do her hands. Give her a little thumb here. That's all it is. It's just a little mark. Just put a little mark there. I'll show it to you. Let me get you a little closer so you can see. See? It wasn't nothing but a ball at first. And then just put a little mark. So it was just a little ball. And then just a little mark. And it, and it gave her a thumb. Okay? So now. Let's see. Make sure the phone's in the right spot. All right, I'm gonna do the other hand and give her a little thumb. Make sure the thumbs are in the right spot too because you don't want the thumb going the wrong direction. You'd be like, what's wrong with that thumb? <laughs> so we shade that in. And then a little thumb here. There we go. There we go, there we go. All right, all right. You all doing great? Good, good. All right, so now, rinse my brush out real good again. Dry it off. Going to use black, okay? I'm gonna do a hair. I'm gonna do a hair and I'm gonna do the mask, all right? So, Still have my pointy brush, I mean my uh, flat brush. Haven't used the pointy brush yet. Flat brush. And I'm gonna start with the uh, this ball here. And what I do is I just press. I just press my brush against the canvas. And it doesn't have to be a even, let me bring it up. Let me bring it to you so you can see. 
All right, so I'm just pressing, and I'm going outside the line of the ball, which is fine, because that's just her hair. Going outside the line. It's okay. All right. And then, I'm gonna put, make sure I'm pointing at the same thing. I don't even know where, I'm, where my uh, camera's pointing, y'all. I'm gonna put a little hair at the top there. Okay, and then I'm going to press and make this other ball. Just press, press, press. And your um, paint can go outside of the line, outside the line of the hair because it's not a straight ball. It's actually like hair, you know, so there you go. There you go. It's hard to hold this thing and show you at the same time, but I think it I think it's working. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she don't need much. There you go. She don't need much. There you go. There she is. All right. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to put the mask on her, okay? We're going to put the mask on her. You don't have to. I'm just doing it because... 2020 and COVID-19 and all that. Everybody's wearing a mask now, so that's why I'm putting a mask on them. All right, so when I put the mask on, let me bring it back up. When I put the mask on them, let me put it on him first. I'm gonna put it about halfway, like where the nose would be. So here, go across there, and then just bring it down to the chin, okay? And bring it back up. Boom. All right. Put more black on it if you need to. And fill that in. Let's fill that in. All right. Okay. I don't know if you've seen any of that because my, <laughs> my hand was painting and I was looking the other way. But that's how we did it. So I'm going to do her too. I'm going to try to. See if I can pay more attention of where I got the camera. All right, so I'm going to go across her face to where I think her nose may be, which would be about halfway. Go down to her chin and back up. All right, so this is where the mask is. There it is. There it is. So both of them got masks on. Try to let that dry a little bit. Let that dry a little bit. While I'm letting that dry, getting the pointy brush out. We haven't used the pointy brush. And we're going to write on this sign, okay? We're going to write on this sign. So with your best penmanship, let's put, well, I'm telling you, this is what I'm putting. I'm going to put, I am black and I am proud, okay? You don't have to put that. You can put anything. You can put Black Lives Matter. You can put anything you want to put on this sign, okay? Dealing with uh, Black History Month. So let's, let's, um, that's why I went with this. That's why I went with what I'm about to say. So here I go. I am black. Uh, I am black and and I am 
And this is where I'm putting proud. You can put what you want to put, but I'm going to put proud. Proud. I'm putting proud thick, too. Thick. You say, how you put it on there thick? Put it on there thick because I'm pressing harder. Pressing harder. When you press hard, paint goes on there harder. Uh, thicker. Proud. Alright. Alright. I am black and I am proud. All right. So now, now that the mask should be almost dry in white, I'm going to put BLM. BLM stands for Black Lives Matter. Okay. So I'm going to put BLM real small on both masks. BLM on that one. BL BLM on that one. All right, y'all. I hope that you all enjoyed the uh, Black History Month painting that I did for you all. And I hope you all did a good job doing I'm sure you did. I'm sure you did a good job. I would like to see you all's painting posted on my page. So please post it on my page. Also, please share and please subscribe. Please comment. On, uh, on on my uh, videos. Um, you are, oh, let me show you up close. So this is, a, this is the small one, the one that we went off of. And this is the big one, all right? All right? So please share, please comment, and please subscribe so that more people can join and have fun with you all. You all have a wonderful day and um, enjoy yourself and be safe out there. All right.